Hey guys, this video is super exciting. It's about the top 10 jobs you can do as a business major. So I know a lot of you guys watching are probably college students or prospective students who are considering a major in business. So hopefully this sheds some light on the types of career paths you can go into with this major or if you're unsure of what you want to go into. Since business is a really broad field, I included a variety of career paths that you can look into depending on your specific interest within business. And make sure to stick till the end of the video because I'll be putting these jobs from lowest paying all the way to highest paying. Just to note, these are just starting salaries and don't include any other additional things like bonuses or relocation. And some of these jobs can pay a lot higher if you're in a field like technology, which pays really high and take this as a general guide to business careers. So number 10 on the list is HR specialist with an average starting salary of $56,000 per year. So this role usually deals with the human aspects of a business. So you can think about this like recruiting, hiring, interviewing, new employees, doing things like onboarding new hires, as well as learning and development for the employees and programs at the company. This is good if you enjoy working and talking to other people and an entry level role in HR can lead to other higher level positions like head of recruiting and higher level people's positions. The next job is account executive with an average starting salary of $58,000. And this is basically doing sales and being able to pitch a product of the company to the customers to bring in new business and and clients. In this position, you can make a lot more than the average starting salary because a lot of sales jobs are based on commissions. So basically, if you're able to sell a certain number of products, then you're able to get commissions or percentage of each item that you sell. So there's high potential for a lot of money that you can make through sales. And this is definitely great for people who have really strong communication skills and negotiation skills. The next job on the list is accountant, average starting salary of $71,000. If you're majoring in business, it's really likely you've taken an accounting class. So it might be a good career path if you like those sort of classes. What a lot of accountants do is they evaluate financial data and create reports for different types of companies. And a lot of people either work in accounting firms like the big four or within regular companies. Within accounting itself, there are a few subdivisions like tax and audit. And this is basically where an accounting firm checks the financials of a large corporation to make sure all the revenues and expenses are recorded accurately and that there's no fraud. I've definitely heard that accounting is one of the less exciting career paths, but if you like accounting and numbers, it might be a good path for you. The next job is marketing manager, and this has an average starting salary of $75 thousand dollars per year and I think marketing is a pretty common career path a lot of people go into that I know of personally and it's really good for people who have both creative and analytical thinking skills. In terms of what you actually do, there's actually so many different types of marketing like brand marketing, product marketing, and the list just kind of goes on from there. But some of the main things that you could be doing is conducting market research and analyzing how to best position a product for market, creating and launching creative campaigns to promote a business's products, as well as social media marketing and doing things to increase brand reach in general. So there's actually so many things you can do in marketing and I think it's a great career path for many people who are both creative and analytical. Job number six is a data or business analyst and this starts out at around $76,000 per year. This seems like a really popular career path nowadays because data has become such a big deal in the tech space especially and a lot of employers are looking for people with data analysis skills. I think this role can vary a lot from company to company but the gist of it is that you're analyzing the company's data to basically make recommendations to improve performance, efficiencies, and increasing profit. Profits. Usually this role depends a lot depending on the company or industry you are a part of, but I think a lot of these positions exist a lot in the tech industry in particular. And this job is great for people with high analytical skills, as well as people with any sort of information science or data science backgrounds. Number five on the list is product manager, and they usually have an average salary of around $81,000 per year. And I definitely noticed that becoming a PM has been a very popular job option for a lot of students, at least in my school, in business and within other tech fields. This is a very up and coming job that's really in high demand in a lot of different industries. So basically as a product manager, you're basically responsible for the entire product planning lifecycle and execution of a product. So this can include gathering customer insights, defining the product vision, and working with other teams like engineering, marketing, and sales. A product manager 
manager role is super high in demand within the tech industry in particular and it's really good for people who have interest in how technology products are made and it's really good for people who have interest in technology and how tech products are made. The next job is financial analyst with a starting salary of around $81,000. So people in this role usually use knowledge from finance and accounting classes to evaluate how a company is doing financially. So this is usually interpreting financial ratios, financial statements, and otherwise creating reports to help understand how a company is doing financially. A lot of people either work at a bank where you're managing other large companies' finances or at a specific company itself within the finance organization. This is usually great for people who are on the more math heavy side of business because you usually need to take more accounting and math based classes. And you may be thinking, what's the difference between a financial analyst and an accountant? So from my understanding, a financial analyst is more focused on the future operations of a business while being an accountant is more focused on the day to day operations. Job number three is management consultant with an average starting salary of $85,000. And this job is actually Actually a very popular career choice among people at my school within business so I think a lot of people are interested in consulting. When people join consulting companies they usually work on projects for other big companies or clients. They usually advise the client for business decisions and use problem solving analytical skills to solve a company's own problem. People are usually attracted to consulting because you can get a lot of exposure to different types of companies and sectors and a lot of people are attracted to different types of exit opportunities that you can take after consulting so people usually con use consulting as sort of a two to three year period in which they explore and then jump to another type of career field. I also heard there's lots of PowerPoint and Excel involved within consulting. Usually people think that consulting is a great way of developing problem solving and analytical skills. And consulting is also known for the lot of travel opportunities you get. For example, in many consulting projects, most people fly out to the client site from Mondays to Thursdays and then come back for the office for the rest of the week. So if traveling is something that you're into, consulting may be a great industry and job field to look into. Second job on the list is investment banking with an average starting salary of $80,000. Even though this job pays higher than a lot of the other ones I talked about, a lot of investment bankers are known to work from 60 to 100 hours per week. So when you actually divide yearly salary into the hourly rate, it's actually not that high. And in terms of what investment bankers actually do, they are known mostly for M&A deals. So M&A stands for mergers and acquisitions. A merger is basically where two companies become one big company and an acquisition is when a larger company buys out a smaller company. So you can think of this as Amazon buying out Whole Foods. In terms of the day to day, people spend a lot of time on PowerPoint and Excel and spend a lot of time building and analyzing financial models. Investment banking is also known for is that they pay out really high bonuses, usually typically 50% to even and double the salary. So that's another reason why a lot of people are attracted to the banking field. However, if you are not really willing to work the high hours of at least 60 hours a week, it's probably not the best field to go into for work-life balance. And lastly, number one is becoming an entrepreneur. I put this as number one because there's technically an unlimited earning potential that you can have because unlike the other jobs I mentioned, if you work at a company, your earning potential is capped, but as an entrepreneur, you can make unlimited amounts of money, technically. So think of the business owners of the world, not just CEOs of big companies, but even entrepreneurs and business owners of mom and pop stores or someone who owns an online brand. Becoming an entrepreneur might be good if you're someone who likes to be independent and set their own hours and overall being responsible for your own business and not having to rely on an employer for a salary. I think a great way for students who are interested in entrepreneurship is to start side hustles and any sort of projects that you're interested in that can later grow into something that can become a business in the future. And that's definitely something that I'm really interested in and still figuring out. And it's definitely something great to look into if you one day want to become your own boss. Overall, I think majoring business has a lot of flexibility in the types of career paths and also has a lot of upwards potential for any sort of path that you choose within this field. There are a lot of pros and cons when it comes to the specific major in business, but that's definitely for another video. And in one of my past videos, I talked about how I got into the business program at UC Berkeley. So make sure to check out that video if you're interested. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.